Revelation 2930. From the 17th and the 18th of October 1943. Living Word. Man's Work. The Living Word will solve all questions, it will enlighten you and all veils will fall before your eyes, and the truth will be offered to you in the most understandable way if you ask God Himself for inner enlightenment and then trustingly hand yourselves over to Him. If you listen to what God speaks to you through the voice of the Spirit, the truth has always and constantly reached people through enlightened people, and it was always the same truth which was conveyed to earth through those from the heavens. Yet the truth never remained unchanged for long, for human will and human thinking were not content with the simple transmission from above but very soon added supplements which, however, could not always meet with God's approval, for these changes only resulted in disputes. The credibility of the divine word conveyed to people from above was denied, but a wrong interpretation led away from the right faith. Only that which is of divine origin has the right to remain and be presented to people as truth. Everything else has to be destroyed, it has to be eradicated because it is misleading and human will itself will lay its hands on human works, partly out of good, partly out of evil, and God will not prevent them from doing so. But as soon as the divine word itself is attacked, which always and forever only teaches the truth, God will protectively spread his hands over it and prevent its destruction. There are often forces at work which are not in God's service but want to appear to be and which time and again try to push themselves forward. And these forces confuse people's thinking. They steer it onto a path which neither leads to God nor into the adversary's kingdom, but where the human being remains on the same level. Where he cannot ascend because he lacks the pure, truth but believes that he possesses it. His striving is good but he lacks the strength which is only hidden in pure, truth. He certainly seeks it but is unable to separate himself from spiritual error, because this was offered to him under the appearance of the divine word. The written word only gains life in cooperation with the power emanating from the living word, as it also came forth from God. But if it remains dead, that is misunderstood by a spiritually enlightened person, then its origin is not divine but the work of man which only contributes to confusion but not to the realization of truth. For a long time it can indeed be preserved because human will itself prevents destruction, because man in his ignorance fearfully guards something from decay which is little value for spiritual development. Yet it is borrowed from ancient truth, it is composed of sayings and prophecies of the oldest origin and it has been preserved as the most powerful prophecy. People also respect it as such and yet will never be able to find a key until they are spiritually enlightened and able to distinguish truth from error. For truth is also hidden in it in so far as ancient prophecies can be found in it which God enlightened people had given and which should be preserved for posterity. But these prophecies have also been made accessible to people in a form which never enlightens the spirit but can only confuse it, which is why they are without profound value for spiritual development. What is from God must testify to God in all clarity, it must be and remain comprehensible to people because it is intended to lead every person to him and thus must also be offered to every person in a form that he recognizes it as God's word and that it now also earns him the blessing that it educates him in soul and spirit, that he can muster full understanding for it if this is his will. But if a gift remains incomprehensible despite good will, then it is not of divine origin and may not be evaluated as such either. For God gives every person the necessary understanding as soon as he desires to stand in truth and surrenders himself to the working of the Spirit. And therefore do not brood and inquire but pay attention to God's gift, which sufficiently provides you with the nourishment you need for your soul. Gratefully receive the bread of heaven and refresh yourselves with it, 
and you will be able to walk your earthly path strengthened, for you received the truth, you receive the word of God which he has blessed with his strength. Amen.